often in our lives we find ourselves pondering what is the right thing to do but how come people disagree on the best course forward in controversial issues even if they use the same information to form their opinion there's more than one effect at play here but one widely accepted aspect is that people have different beliefs and priorities of what is generally worth striving for and how to do so these beliefs are often referred to as human values and it is these values that arguments can draw persuasive strength from now can these values be identified for a given argument in this paper my colleagues and I from the Webis group present the necessary operationalization, namely a multi-level taxonomy of 54 values, provide a data set of 5,270 human annotated arguments and present first empirical evidence that such an automatic identification is indeed possible. But first, let me illustrate what we mean by human values behind arguments. Consider this example. Wealthy countries should provide a universal basic income because such income would improve the lives of many people. Let us say you are not convinced that this is the case and ask, why is this true? One could say that is true because such income would improve working capabilities and conditions. I would like to call this classical case here epistemological support because it is about why we know that something is true. However, This chain of reasoning misses a central point, something so natural to us that we often do not bother explicating it, if we even consciously think about it. But for a machine, this is far from obvious. Why would we want the lives of many people to improve? Consider for a moment you would not know. This whole argument would not make sense at all. But fortunately, We know that it is good to improve the lives of people because, for example, we have accepted that it is good if people have a comfortable life. Now, argument mining so far has focused on epistemological support. This is natural, as this is the kind that is more often stated explicitly, especially in the kind of discussions that make up our corpora. However, Epistemological and ethical support are indeed quite different phenomena that warrant different approaches. One particular difference is that epistemological reasoning branches out considerably, as illustrated by the discussion topologies of the webpage Chialo, shown on the left hand side. Starting from the central blue circle supporting premises, depicted as green segments, and attacking ones, as red segments, are further supported and attacked, and so on. Ethical reasoning, on the other hand, is based on a finite set of values worth striving for, like having a comfortable life. If one were to order these values on a circle, as one particularly widespread value taxonomy does, one could then draw a visualization counterpart to the discussion topology, showing which values each side of the discussion resorts to in their arguments, thus revealing disagreements on an ethical level, namely which values are prioritized by whom. The analysis of such disagreement is not new in computational linguistics. Value priorities are known as one aspect of all the specific argument strength. For example, is it better to reduce inequality or to preserve the power over one's property? This is a matter of the values to which one subscribes. This insight relates to the audience-specific value-based argumentation framework, an extension of Dunk's argumentation framework you might be familiar with. In addition to Dunk's set of arguments and binary attacks relation, this framework models argument strength by introducing a set of values v, a function val that provides the value an argument resorts to, and a preference ordering val pref of the values for the audience. The paper of this talk now constitutes a first attempt at an automated function, well. But before we get to that, we have to talk about the set V. Defining the set of values is a daunting task. Fortunately, social scientists have been on this challenge for a long time, with several aiming at a universal taxonomy, that means one that extends across cultures. In this work, We consolidated four of these taxonomies with emphasis on Schwartz taxonomy, which is the most widespread one. 
At its core, we have the values 54 in our case. For example, having a comfortable life, highlighted here in orange. To specify the values, we describe for each one which aspects a corresponding argument could refer to, like being about a subsistence income or relieving people of financial worries. We used and refined these examples during our data annotation process that I will describe in more detail shortly. With respect to our social science sources, the values on this first level correspond to the question items in the surveys. For analysis, Schwartz, however, rather works on what we call level 2, or value categories. Though having a comfortable life is not part of Schwartz's survey, it is included by both Rokic and the World Value Survey, and fits to other values that Schwartz put in the security personal category. The third level corresponds to a kind of two-dimensional coordinate system. Values one would associate with an openness to change, like self-direction, often conflict with those one would associate with a conservation of the current state, like honoring tradition, and values which one would associate with transcending beyond oneself, like caring for others, tend to conflict with those one would associate with enhancing oneself, like personal achievements. Even more abstractly, Schwartz sees two base dichotomies between personal and social focus and between growth and self-protection. As the figure shows, and hopefully your intuition agrees with, having a comfortable life is more about self-protection and as kind of at the border between personal and social focus, as having a comfortable life oneself is often connected to a safe and stable society. We then use this taxonomy to create a dataset of 5,270 arguments using four sources, which we named by the target audience region. Nearly all arguments were taken from the US-focused IBM RQ Rank 30K ARCs dataset, in which the premises for given claims were obtained by crowdsourcing. However, to test the universal claim of the value taxonomies, we also try to incorporate arguments targeted at audiences from other regions. This endeavor proved surprisingly difficult, as all major argument datasets focused on arguments for a Western audience. So we asked our international undergrad students for recommendations on the argumentative websites targeting their home regions. We settled on three additional sources from different genres. The opinion section of the African Arguments news page, the question answering website Shihu, and the Indian group discussion ideas webpage that lists interesting discussion topics and arguments for debate training. Importantly, we want to highlight that this dataset is not intended to represent a certain source of arguments, but rather to allow for developing robust automated systems. We then use crowdsourcing to annotate all 5,270 arguments. In a two-step process, we hired US annotators for the task. Every argument was independently annotated by three annotators for all 54 level 1 values, and annotations were fused into a single coherent ground truth. Annotators needed nearly three minutes per argument on average and reached a value wise Krippendorf's kappa of 0 0.49. Values were then propagated to upper levels of the taxonomy. Real world arguments can and usually do resort to several values. In the case of the base dichotomies, however, we found that many arguments resort to values from both sides of the dichotomies, about 65 and 80 percent, respectively. Though so, seemingly counterintuitive, one has to remember how close our example of having a comfortable life was to both sides of dichotomy 4a. However, this finding questions a classification of arguments along these lines, and I will thus skip these dichotomies in the following. For an impression of arguments in the dataset, let me briefly talk about two examples. The first one, from the African Arguments website, is about economic ramifications being felt hardest by the most vulnerable. Though very different from a universal basic income, from a value perspective, it is actually quite similar to our starting example of improving the lives of many people, with an additional facet of equality here. The second argument is yet on another topic, namely privacy protection, in this case to prevent fraudulent activities. Despite big difference, it shares with the first example the concern about a destabilizing society, the most frequent value in our dataset. 
As a first try at the automatic identification, we tested three approaches in a cross-validation setup. Standard BERT, a word-based SVM, and a baseline that classifies each argument as resorting to all values. Here, we report metrics averaged over all values. And for a first experiment, we only used the USA part of the dataset. Let me focus here on our main metric, the F1 score. For the lower levels, both BERT and SVM are able to beat the baseline, which we see as a clear sign that an automatic identification of values is possible, even though much work needs to be done in terms of effectiveness. But the two approaches could not beat the baseline for level 3, which we would like to investigate in the future by taking a closer look at the labels that we propagated from the lower level. Of course, you will find much more detail, like performance for each value, in the paper. We then tested the robustness of classifiers trained on a USA part by applying them to the other parts. Results were mixed, with BERT performing sometimes a bit worse, as one would expect, but sometimes also better than when tested on a USA part. Note that the test sets are too small for really calling these numbers reliable, but they are first cause of evidence that classifiers could be robust against target audience regions. To summarize and conclude, we here present an investigation on the ethical why, namely on the human values behind arguments. As an operationalization, we presented a consolidated multi-level value taxonomy with 54 values at its core. To foster research on automated systems, we provide a dataset of 5,270 human labeled arguments on which we show first empirical results with out-of-the-box models beating the baseline. I hope this talk sparked your interest in the topic. We are currently investigating ways to conduct an international challenge, so please look out for announcements or directly contact me.